exactly what it looks like. I'm not gonna vagina, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this a game or? Yeah, it's a you game. Gotta jump, go and like explore. Or is you gotta. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to Hot Couch Potato, the podcast where we talk about video games and... Monsters. 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 <laughs> my name is Brent, a.k.a. Boo Up. I'm here with my man, Rick, a.k.a. A New Perfect Day. What's going on, man? Dude, you know I had that, that brush fire right next to my house, oh, across yeah, the street from my dude. house? Yeah. That is so close. Like, literally, I wouldn't have known... Because, you know, I hardly watch the news, you know, mm-hmm. with everything going on and mm-hmm. all that. But I didn't even know there was a freaking huge brush fire right next to my area. And my sister was the one that, like, called me. And she was mm. like, oh, bro, are you all right? And I was like, what are you talking about? You, <laughs> of course I'm all right. You know, I'm, like, mm-hmm. hanging out, working, you know. Like, what do you mean? And she's like dude there's a fire near your house your area and i was like what so i like walked out and then mm. there's like a lot of smoke everywhere i was like oh my god dude i if if my whole neighborhood was on fire i wouldn't have known <laughs> for the life of dude, me you're just all nice and cozy in your ac <laughs> in my ac i'm like ooh, it's getting a little hotter uh, let me turn off the ac a bit. the troubles the troubles of the world don't pertain to you dude you're just doing ac man <laughs> <laughs> yep that, yep that's what i was like you know i like t- t- told my boss i was like oh man boss you know <laughs> you can have some time to uh prepare for a possible evacuation mm-hmm. and then i was like thinking man what would i actually evacuate so like i spent like the next 30 minutes to an hour just sitting and like hmm is this worthy of saving? Hmm. <laughs> I'm a little lazy. Maybe maybe if the fire jumps the street, maybe, <laughs> you know, like I was just thinking of all of these scenarios. So now I'm going to have to have like a like a spare suitcase of clothes or something like right next yeah. to me forever, you know, like but, a crash bag or whatever it is. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so I've been preparing that. Be real, be real. How long before you started unplugging and starting to pack your computer, dude? Dude, I was thinking of that the entire time. I was like, how close does this thing have to be for me (laughs) to actually take action (laughs) and start unplugging things? You know what I mean? And I was like... Like looking at the the live news of the helicopter, and then the you know the fire was like, oh, it's getting pretty close to to the street. It's mm-hmm. right near the street, you mm-hmm. know. I'm like, oh damn, that's that's pretty close. But in my mind was thinking, oh, that's not close enough yet to make me take <laughs> action. <laughs> but I think if it is literally maybe two streets away, mm-hmm. which which was like f- maybe five six streets away, but if it was mm-hmm. like two. I think I would like unplug my computer. I would save my computer, my documents, and my clothes. And I think that's pretty much it. Maybe my consoles too. Mm. Yeah, because I think you messaged us about it that there was a fire in your neighborhood. And then I think once I saw it, that's when I, you know, went onto YouTube to search how crazy it was out there. Yeah. And yeah, I remember going to your house and really, you know, there's the main street and then you turn into your little community. That main street is where the fire was, dude. Like, right at that dude. turn. Yeah, exactly. And I saw that in the helicopter. They, like, closed off all of that street. And I was like, that is the only street that for you me to leave get from. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I was, like, thinking, man, am I going to have to, like, backpack on the canyon side of the mountains? Or, like, you know, like, mm-hmm. just go down the hill where there's no civilization? I was mm-hmm. like, there might be rattlesnakes, but the fire is more... Well, pretty more dead though yeah yeah, yeah yeah so uh i don't know i think i'm just gonna have a spare bag ready to go just in case this thing happens again and mm-hmm. you know have my switch and <laughs> 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 because honestly i have all my data backed up on my on my external and mm-hmm. my cloud drive so oh, okay. that's you good. know that's good the computer i don't have to worry too much but you have insurance yeah 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 but still like that's like damn dude i just moved in and that's true true. (laughs) well i mean fuck knock on wood too but like that's a good uh that's a good way to get a new computer right there dude (laughs) 
That's true. That's true. I could. I could get a new computer. I do need it. I do need it with all of our friends making computers and everything. Crazy. New monitors too, man. Oh, that's what I did this week. I finally picked up my new desk, dude. Congrats. Um, I know. I finally have, have mega desk. I don't have my little square desk anymore. It's great. I have so much room for activities. Um... I'm scared because I might go on a tangent and forget the point of the story, but I have enough room to play games on my computer, my PS4, and build a Gundam at the same time. Um, oh, nice. That's what I started doing now. Is I'm, I'm building a Gundam because I have so much room for it. <laughs> Dude, you hardly ever, like, build Gundams, too. Dude, this is really my first one. And really, holy yeah, crap! It's a it's a real great, and it's already hurting my feelings, dude. There's so many pieces, <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know why the pieces are so small. How can adults build these? You know, <laughs> <laughs> patience. That's that's a whole funny story in itself. So I get corona tested every week, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Since I work in a clinic or hospital, and um, I was wearing a Gundam shirt because I'm a huge Gundam fan. You know. And I mm -hmm. sit down and, you know, assume the position for them to tickle my brain. And the nurse goes, oh, hey, you like Gundam? I was like, yeah. And she goes, uh, have you built any models? I was like, uh, no, I got one, though, that I've been meaning to build. And she goes, oh, and like sound a little disappointed. So I asked her, I was like, uh, do you She's build like, Gundam? Poser. <laughs> I know. That's exactly what she was thinking. So I asked her, uh, do you build Gundams? And she's like, yeah, I just finished a fucking master grade a unicorn yeah, Gundam. Yeah. Took me about two weeks to build. And I was like, oh, okay, dude. I'm uncomfortable, man. I'm a poser. I thought I really liked Gundam, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, nah, man, you love it. You love it. So <laughs> that is what pressured me into um, <laughs> oh! a Gundam today. And yeah. it's taken me all day, dude. I think I started at around noon. <laughs> or No, I started around <laughs> 1. I started around 1. And um, yeah, it's about 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and I'm still not done. I'm on the wings. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much more to go, dude. I built the torso, legs, and arms, and the head, but I'm on the wings right now. So by tomorrow, I can go up to that nurse and be like, yo, I built my first Gundam. <laughs> Real great. <laughs> give, give me your number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You would not accept uh, my Real grade. Um, <laughs> you know, we're on attention. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Uh, so yeah, I got this new desk, dude, and I want it in an auction. Um, and my nephew was supposed to help me, right? But this whole thing happened and he overslept. So I had to get this desk by myself. And this is not a small desk. It's like, uh, I'll say maybe six and a half feet long. Yeah. And so what'd you do? You like, dude, I left it. <laughs> yeah. I carried it myself out of that place, man. And the whole thing is, oh, it's like, shit. since it was from an auction, the people that were there were auctioneers and they're really strict about not helping you at all dude so wow. i'm out there struggling and they didn't because i guess it's some liability shit but i would have been like don't me. look at me when yeah I'm yeah no they were definitely watching into me. my car <laughs> I'm definitely watching me and i had rented a u-haul right like just the van not a whole truck so i had this big like u-haul kidnapper van um and i'm just struggling carrying this table by myself and i double park and i just leave the back open right Across the street from this place where I'm picking this desk up from is like a dance studio. And the time of day I went, I guess it was the little girls ballet lessons. So all the moms were You have like a sketch. I know, dude. I'm wearing a hoodie. It's in the early in the morning, so I'm wearing a hoodie. I'm wearing my Corona mask. I have a hat on. And I'm just like struggling taking this table to this wide open ass <laughs> kidnapper van in front of a little girl's dance studio dude it wasn't the creepiest shit bros <laughs> did you have candy you're like i'm passing out candy <laughs> no, too <laughs> that would have been the worst dude i just had like a bag of m ms shit <laughs> like i don't know if you've ever seen silence of the lambs but that's legitimately what happens in silence of the lambs dude that's how he kidnaps people <laughs> he's carrying a couch by himself and this chick comes over oh do you need help and he just punches her and throws her in the back of the van dude Ew. so i felt like a creep i definitely felt like a creep man 
That's okay. Um, you got your desk yeah, that you can yeah. build Gundams on. Yep. Yep. I have my mega desk now that I can build Gundams on. It's this is I don't know. It's kind of therapeutic. I get uh, the thing is though, it just takes up so much time, dude. You've built Gundams before, right? Yeah, yeah, a lot. I think I don't know, but it's been ever since high school since I mm-hmm. built my last Gundam. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> I've been just buying the pre made Gundams already. Ah, uh, uh. <laughs> It's cool. I enjoy it. It just takes up so much time, man. And you know, the older we get, the the less free time we have. So it almost hurt my feelings dedicating my whole Sunday into building this thing. But that's okay. It was therapeutic. Do. Yeah, yeah. I was just I had this uh, three hour playlist of relaxing Super Nintendo music playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so it was good times. It was good times, man. Um, but yeah, I've actually needed this therapeutic time because I've been so stressed throughout the week playing Damn. fucking Fall Guys, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, last night was pretty sick. Like that was my first time playing, mm-hmm. and then especially playing with you guys. You know, I I kind of got the gist of it from seeing all of this tiktok videos oh, of it. that's what dustin was saying too man you've seen so many tiktok videos about strats and different games and stuff yeah 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 and then there's like uh there's this guy that was like showing a strat where he was hopping on the honeycomb the platform that falls or something like that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he was like start from the outside and then work your way into the middle and then mm-hmm. that's what i was doing at first i fell but then later I think the second level, I was just hopping, and I was the only one on top hopping, mm-hmm. you know, all around and while everyone had fell. But that game is pretty stressful, you know. Like, I am, like, sitting up in my seat, you know. It's just how, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, you think you're the best, but, you know, you have other 60 players jumping on your head while you're trying to go through a door. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty funny, and there's gaps in the middle, and no one tells me, so, like, I fall through the gaps, you know, I was, like, in <laughs> fourth place, and now I'm in 42 place. <laughs> We've all been and, there, man. We yeah. all experienced that. Yeah, that, that was, it, yeah, it gets crazy, especially, like, that one time where, I think it was only 42 is allowed to pass, and then I was literally number 42. And I was like, God damn, dude, I clenched my stomach so bad. I think I almost farted in that <laughs> the last second. <laughs> the great like, thing oh. the great thing about that is, or I guess the sucky thing, let me not say the great thing, but the sucky thing is, yeah, you know, you race your heart out, you get to the very end, you're number 42 out of 42 to make it to the next round. And in the next round, you get eliminated right away. It's like, oh, oh yeah, God, dude. All this effort for nothing, man. Dude, yeah. And I try to, like, play hero. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to go go down this one route that nobody else is going. But it's, mm-hmm. like, high risk, high reward kind of mm-hmm, thing. So, mm-hmm. like, for example, that one ramp with a spinny fan that spins really fast that no oh, one in goes the middle? on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I was like, I'm going to do it. I am the chosen one. And I get shot off the ram but i was like yeah i'm not the chosen one <laughs> <laughs> i try that Stressful every time game but you, that one's so hard to time because the, the fan spins so fast dude oh yeah like i try to dive but i don't know how to time this shit <laughs> yeah i think man this must be one of the greatest video game releases of all time um mm-hmm. for it to come out and have a strong beta i think it on twitch it had more people watching it getting played than Fortnite for a little bit, man. And that's fucking Fortnite, man. So, dude, I think it will take off like that if people continue to play. I think I might like buy some little toys if they, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, because little guys. Cause, yeah, it is pretty fun. Um, really fun. It's just it's a playful, competitive online game. Not mm-hmm. like where it's life and death situation. You know, it's like ah, oh, I can enjoy this mm-hmm. competing with other people, not have to shoot for like the highest kill to death ratio yeah yeah no that's very true and i know they had and i'm saying it was successful but i know they had a little bit of um because even we ran into it the first night it came out um a little bit of connectivity issues um like it was hard to jump in a game at first just because there were so many people playing it um but yeah like i was saying they were number three on twitch for a little bit and then at the same time they released the game for free on PlayStation Plus. That's where we're all playing it right now is on PlayStation Plus because it was free. 
So yep. that's a lot of players to jump in there and 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 play, man. So yeah, I'm excited. I, I love it, dude. I can see us yeah. playing it for a while. The only thing is the game rotation isn't as good. I feel like we play the same games over and over and over, you know? And the ones I really mm. want to play are not part of that list. So that's the only thing. I feel like every round we play that memorization one where we have to look at the fruit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one on the floor and the floor falls and thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yeah. I'm the worst at that one, man. Dude, I am the worst at the one that with the the fake doors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like so I believe, dude. <laughs> I, I believe, I believe I run into it. But then when I still, I guess that my faith is not strong enough and I hit uh-huh. like a, a dead end and then everyone's running on the far left. And then like you're you just have 60 players trying to cram their way in through like a little <laughs> hole. <laughs> <laughs> like jumping on dead bodies and <laughs> things like that. I'm like, ah, let me in, man. I hate it when you but, try to jump through, but at the same time, everybody else is jumping through, so you just get trampled. Yep. I think I got bully uh, trophy <laughs> from that little area. <laughs> I was like, Wait, what? what are you bullying people or from getting bullied? I've either or <laughs> stepping <laughs> on people's heads and they're stepping on my head. Yeah, I yeah. got like two trophies from that. I got to see what those trophies were. That's fucking crazy, dude. But yeah, I mean, and it's not impossible to win. I feel like there's su- enough skill versus luck in this game where anybody could win. You know, you can't say that about all battle royale games. Right, because some of them depend on skill, and then there's those people that are just way too good, Counter Strike fucking pros and stuff like that. So, um, I feel like everybody has an equal chance to win in this game too, which is what I like. Oh yeah, especially like even though you're like really good at it, there's people that will like try to sabotage you. I've seen those people that made it to the right near the end, Mm -hmm. and they're like one of the top people to reach that destination, but then then they just chill at the very end and then like grab onto to other people and like Coming hold in. them back yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh damn and then like you know how we were i was helping uh scott out by holding down the enemies uh, oh, who were yeah. chasing him Trying to, to grab the feather yeah so yeah man i enjoyed a lot interesting they're, they're onto something dude I'm, I'm surprised no one's come up with it sooner um but yeah, no, it, it's good times. I hope they release more levels too, or more puzzles. I think that'd be fun. I think it'd be fun if we could do like private matches, if we just had all just friends playing it, and maybe one person gets eliminated each round. That would be kind of fun. That dude. would be pretty cool. So yeah. much pressure, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, no, Fall Guys, super good, super good. I was also excited since it was free on PlayStation Plus. I think the other game that was free was um Modern Warfare Two. The remastered version oh really is it still there no yeah it's still there because it was for this month and i was thinking to myself i was like oh man dude we could do our spec ops again dude and uh you could be in the ground and i'll be on the plane shooting down but it's just the campaign mode so oh uh, is there any there's no spec op mode i didn't see it i i want to say it's just the single player campaign man she i remember those spec ops where we would just try to lure that juggernaut in the hut, and then we'd just shoot, jump With out the, the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they'd kill one of us, but you know, we'd jump in the the window, revive them, and then just jump back out. <laughs> I think I remember too. We would uh, keep them stuck in that room because I would get knocked down, and I would just stay in the doorway, and they couldn't jump over me. <laughs> so yeah, I would just shoot them while I'm blocking them with my body. <laughs> Spec ops, dude. That show is too fun, man. Um, but yeah, those are the free games on PlayStation Plus. You see the free games on Epic? I don't think they were that great. I know. Where were they? Um, I think they're just puzzle games. Uh, but I think one of the games next week is really good. It's like Monster Hunter, but with guns. Like what the heck? Yeah, it's. I think it's called Dauntless. Remnant or something like that. Oh. Remnant. Yeah, Remnant. But that's gonna be the free game next week, so that'll be that'll be interesting to play. Um, what else is going on? We're still playing Halo, dude. We played a little bit of, um... We beat Reach. That's what happened. We did beat Reach. We did beat Reach. That was good. And then we jumped onto Halo 1, and I kept getting confused about 
going into um the remastered graphics and the regular graphics <laughs> I was thinking oh, for yeah, so long, yeah. for so long, I think I was playing on the remastered graphics, right? And I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, you know, Halo really holds up. This this game looks looks great, man. This game looks like it was made yesterday, you know? I think my finger slipped, and I pressed tab, and it turned to the original graphics. I was like, ooh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely an original Xbox game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude mine was the reverse i was like oh man you know like i remember this this is uh pretty good and then i accidentally hit tab and it's like all realistic i was like holy fuck what else i've been playing on <laughs> i've been playing on duty graphics man it reminds me of um you remember when i first got my computer i don't think you had yours yet and we were playing vindictus and uh oh I think I said you that's were... when i had like a shitty yeah <laughs> and I think I sent you a picture. I was like, dude, look at the grass in this. And you're like, yeah, I don't see the grass, dude. I have cra- my graphics are crayons. <laughs> yeah, I took a screenshot and then it was like just nothing but like a solid ground colored level. And it was like no grass. And then you show me yours and it was like detailed grass where you can mow the lawn and get a haircut. I was like, what? What is this? This yep. is some advanced. That's what I think inspired me to build my computer at that point. That was like <laughs> a couple yeah, of years was, ago. I was like, that was years ago at this point. That was damn. like yeah, was six years ago, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, not too funny, man. And uh, we're playing it on legendary again, like we played Reach. And, but I think this one's easier, dude. I feel like we're we are owning it a lot more than we are in the last one. Maybe Halo Reach was our training ground, mm. and we're just that good to no. readjust to. <laughs> I don't Very know. I'm just pulling it out of my ass, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's yeah. I agree. It's 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 more easier. Like when you take down um, the enemies, they go down in a few shots. Versus mm. in Reach, man, you, I unloaded like two clips to take down like one grunt or something like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was what was the um I th- I felt like their shields would regenerate too. Yeah. In, you have to keep shooting them in, in um reach, reach. Dude. Yeah, and this one shields don't regenerate. But no, yeah, that that's always fun playing that. Um what else is going on, dude? Oh, a lot happened this week with uh with PlayStation, man. Uh they Ooh. had a direct this week. To show, I guess, the last remaining games that are coming out for PS4. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, I think there's a few indie games. Um, there was an anime game that looked pretty good that I think you'd be into. They showed off Crash Bandicoot 4, which I can't believe they're making a new Crash Bandicoot. Is um, it for PS5? I think it's for PS4. I think it was PS4 oh, PS- game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. The only thing they really showed on PS5 was uh, Godfall, which... It's still gonna have to convince me to buy it, dude. I mean, it looks fun. Um, they keep on saying that the combat is gonna be skill based, so you're gonna have to know combos and work on your timing for blocks and parries. Um, but I don't know. It just hasn't pulled me in yet. Um, mm. what are you thinking, dude? Because I know it reminded you a lot of Infinity Blade and stuff. Actually, Vindictus or Godfall. Oh, Vindictus. Yeah, yeah. But I thought Godfall was that one that was like medieval. Yeah, yeah, but remember, uh, I think last time we watched the trailer, you said they had the Infinity Blade in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. They had the Infinity Blade, but I think the in terms of like the gameplay, yeah, it looked like Vindictus or Black Desert Online. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what kind of sells me is just that type of gameplay because, you know, you can keep slashing all day, but then you had to like think about your strats of how to block, how to dodge, how to launch things, you mm-hmm. know. But uh, I didn't really play Black Desert, so maybe this can be my redemption to Black Desert. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one that's like Diablo? That's from the Lost top down? Arc. Dude, when oh. does that one come out, man? Uh, I don't know. They, <laughs> they said it was supposed to be releasing like two years ago for America. They're like, oh, yeah, it's in beta, things like that, but... No, I haven't seen it since. I'll be honest, man. So far, I've been... Well, I guess there's only one thing that we could base it off of. Remember the first time we ever saw Blade and Soul? 
this was must yeah. have been in like 2007 or something. It was definitely around the time we were playing um, City of Heroes still, because uh, NC Soft was working on Blade and Soul, <clears throat> and I remember we were so excited for it. And then it finally came out, and it was hype for a little bit, but it's it all just kind of fell off, dude. Yeah. So I'm Blade and Soul. That, I think yeah. we only played maybe one tenth of the story. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot why we fell off, dude. It might be because the questing wasn't that fun, dude. I think it was just very linear. Yeah, yeah, that's very very. True. The combat was cool. I remember wanting to get good at the PvP, winning a couple games, and then just getting my ass kicked for the rest of the way through. <laughs> Maybe that's why you stopped. <laughs> maybe, maybe because it was action based. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't like City of Heroes where you just click. You know, but it was you had to very, like very time the based. the counter yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and build combos and stuff. So, yeah. So I hope Arc is um, the redemption for games that we anticipate for millions of years and finally get to play, man. Because <laughs> Blade and Soul definitely <laughs> upset me. I was like, eh, I can't believe we're excited for this game for so long. <laughs> exactly. Um, but super tangent. Yeah, Godfall. But there was something else I was going to bring up about the PS Direct, man. What else did we see? Oh, we saw Bug Snacks. Um, I think there's just like a, a story trailer. So they explain a little bit about what you're doing in the game. Is that the one where um, you're like eating each other? Yeah, where you eat stuff and then you turn into it. Like there was that strawberry walking around and the walrus ate it and her hand turned into a strawberry. That's a pretty creepy monster if you think about it. <laughs> if it existed in real life and you see that walking around like as a human and an <laughs> octopus <laughs> and a girl with a skirt. Thinking, <laughs> I was just thinking about that the other day because... I was, uh, every day at work, I walk around this park, right, during my breaks, and mm. there's like a river, or a meadow, or creek, or something, that runs through the middle of it, and there's a bunch of squirrels, and rabbits, and stuff in there, and there's also a lot of bugs, and since it's summertime, you could hear them all, it's like, right, 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 you know, just really, really loud, <laughs> and I'm walking through there, and you could just feel it's a lot more humid because there's so much plants and stuff in that meadow area. And all I could think to myself is like, man, what if like a giant starship troopers like bug just came out of this these woods right now and attacked me? I would just attack you, yeah. pull you in. Yeah. Oof. I would just give uh, up. Yeah, that's no nah, man, up. you can't give up. You're a Pokemon master. You gotta <laughs> battle it. <laughs> yeah, with yeah. what, dude? Myself? <laughs> Throw rocks at it and shit, dude. I that's, a, that's Safari, all right. You got the rocks, man. Safari zone. <laughs> oh, but yeah, dude. This is. Uh, uh, I just can't imagine, dude, running into a bug that big, man. Um, shoot. No, but what was I really hyped about from the PlayStation thing? I'm trying to think, dude. Release date. That's what you're thinking because I made a bet with Aunt Anthony and. Uh -huh saying that it was going to be released the prices will be released august and he would win the bet if it did or if, if it's in september then i would win the bet but it gave me a little mini heart attack when i did read an article that said amazon is now accepting ps5 pre-orders what and i was like what the fuck are you talking about so then i read the article and, this, and then sony made the statement it was like yeah, they may be accepting it, but it does not reflect the price uh, of what we're going to be releasing the price or something like that. You know, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. it's not official um, and we'll be releasing it and we'll let you know. So you know? you're just saving like, your, your console, basically. You're not actually paying for it yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess you're just like a slot uh, uh, placeholder or something. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So Damn, dude. I got freaking, what, how many days? 22 more days until I win this bet? Pretty much, dude, pretty much. Yeah, because they didn't announce that at all. They didn't even show a PlayStation 5. They just showed all games at this Direct. Um, oh, man, they're they're getting ready for a party to release the price. <laughs> <laughs> On September 1st. <laughs> I'll be oh, so mad. Yeah, I'll be dude. so mad if I was betting against you. <laughs> oh, I would, I would rub it in. <laughs> like, you see what happened? 
up it today. Today's my birthday. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's what I was excited about. I might have to buy a PlayStation VR, dude. I might have oh, to buy a PlayStation VR. Let me hear it. Because you can play Hitman in virtual reality, dude. What? Hitman, the whole trilogy, one through three, in PSVR, dude. Holy shit. How do you, know, like, do you I have to, like, roll and around. crouch and everything? Yeah, I think you, no, I think you still walk around with the controller. But as far as, like, looking around at everything, it's, it's, it's with your head. Um, they showed a little bit of it where he was sneaking up behind the guy and, and choke and was about to choke him out in VR. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna feel every kill I do, man. <laughs> it's gonna stick Damn. with Damn. <laughs> that's interesting. So I'm excited for that, man. I think that's the biggest thing I got out of uh, the, the PlayStation Direct. Is that VR? Nice, nice. But there, what, there is an anime game you should check out. I just forget what it's called. Or you just don't want to share it with me. Dude, I would be the first person to share an anime game with you. <laughs> the moment I see an anime game, you might not even be remotely interested in it. I'm going to show it to you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I need this. I need this. <laughs> um, I, don't, I want to see what the reaction is so far. Hold on. Let me search for this. Let's see what the likes and dislikes are on this PlayStation video. What do, what do you think? What do you estimate? More likes or more dislikes? Uh, dislikes because it doesn't have the PS5 graphic. I mean, PS5 price. Good. Um, no, no, no. Where's the PlayStation? Actually, okay. Here we go. We're looking. We're looking, and it is. It is. Oh my god, dude! I actually can't find it. I actually. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Interesting. There are. Ooh. There's 45k likes and 20k dislikes. Damn, so, that must be from Xbox or something. Or... <laughs> but I mean, it's it's double the likes. So I'm actually not mad. I'm I'm surprised it has more actually. They didn't show as much. Huh. Mm, that's why too, because I would have thought people would have been pissed. Um, there is an I guess a beta for the Avengers game going on right now. Uh, you can only jump into it if you pre-ordered the Avengers game already, right? Yeah. Um, and I think people, and only on PlayStation, by the way, on anything else you pre-ordered it on, you can't play until next week. Um, but the biggest news to come out of that is you'll be able to play as Spider-Man only on PlayStation. Um. And that's got that's... a bunch of people mad, canceling their pre-orders for the game, um, cursing out yeah. Sony. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not interested in the game that much yet. I mean, if I was going to buy it, I would buy it on PlayStation anyways. Uh, but I guess how, how does that make you feel if you were like an Xbox fan, you know? I guess I understand where they're coming from. Dude, even as a PlayStation fan, I think that's pretty fucked up. You know, mm. like knowing that you have this this one time exclusive. I don't know. Like for me, I would like to have different types of exclusive. I want to share like, but if it's like a character, that's mm -hmm. like, I don't know. You you lose completely the fan base um, on the Xbox side and maybe some of them the PlayStation side. Mm -hmm. You know, or maybe the the person who has both consoles. You know, it's like, why do you want to keep the exclusivity to just PlayStation? Mm -hmm. But uh, let me, I'm trying to think because I guess it's crazy because Sony actually owns Spider-Man. You are right. You right. are right. This is why you're, yep, you like, were right. The movies and stuff, Disney had to make a whole deal with Sony in order for Spider-Man to be part of the Avengers deal be part of the Avengers movies still, you know? Um, the most recent Spider-Man games or PlayStation exclusives and things like that. So, if I'm working at PlayStation, fuck yeah, I want Spider-Man only to be on... <laughs> only to be on You're PlayStation right. versions of this game. I totally forgot Sony owns Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I guess for the regular person, it does kind of suck and does force you to get playstation which they probably definitely won't get just for yeah. one game you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, so that's true. 
It, 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 like it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, it's, it's good for I guess for the PlayStation fans, but for people who were were interested in getting like a PS5 or PS4, or, you know, or to play just that game, mm-hmm. like, might give them a sour taste or something. Sour taste. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm not mad. I mean. Fuck yeah, dude. If I own this, I'm trying to make money off of it. I'm not trying to share it with anybody else. <laughs> but at the same time... Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, I want to enjoy things on my terms. So if I'm just an Xbox head and a huge Avengers fan... And that's the thing, too. It's not just any character. You know, it's it's not just fucking Hawkeye or something. It's Spider-Man. Like, he's probably yep. one of the most popular Avengers out there. So... That one, that one, that one's gotta hurt. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though. I think this game is gonna be a lot more successful than we think it's gonna be. Um, I was watching some streams of it over the weekend, and it does. It looks pretty decent. It's it's like Vindictus, but with Mar- Avengers heroes. Because <laughs> <laughs> you start out in a little HUD, you know, and then you choose a mission, and then you choose which Avenger you want to be. I think some missions. Iron you Man. have to be a certain Avenger. Yeah, yeah. The gameplay I saw it was Iron Man. He was in the Hulkbuster armor. And then another person was playing as Black Widow. So they can complement each other on like being fast and tanking and stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, the interest is there for me. But this, too many games are just the same. Every I think Destiny ruined video games kind of, huh? <laughs> it turned everything it turned everything loot based dude <laughs> all these games as a service I feel like started out just because Destiny got so popular man yeah I was gonna try to get back into Destiny too, but really well because I just wanted to understand the whole stranger thing remember when oh, she was like oh back. I don't have time to explain what i don't have time to explain uh-huh, thing uh-huh, and then i was uh-huh. like oh, okay now you have time to s- explain in this dlc part <laughs> two like what is going on uh, uh. okay <laughs> but when uh i asked you guys if you're playing you guys like i wouldn't touch that with the 10 foot pole I was like, oh, okay man <laughs> okay i've okay. never said that in my life <laughs> I'm like, okay, baby. I won't pick it up. I won't pick it up. Wait, isn't it free? (laughs) Or do you have to pay for the DLC? You have to pay. Maybe 30 bucks. I don't know. I mean, I'm down to download it for free and see how far (laughs) we get, but like. I'm not going to raid like we used to, dude. <laughs> oh, no. I was just hoping to see what the story is about. Like, why Why did she give us this stranger rifle that's garbage? And why? where did she come <laughs> from? <laughs> like, what are you battling that's beyond our comprehension to not explain when you have time to explain? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Didn't they confirm that they're not going to have a Destiny 3? Like, Destiny 2 is oh, going to carry on until the next uh, generation of consoles? Really? Yeah. Which is they should just clean. Oh my god, dude! Start a clean slate and be like, boom, brand new game. Oh my god! I'm just Your realizing, characters. man. Uh huh. Remember when they first announced Destiny? They were like, yeah, this is a game you're gonna be invested in for ten years. Ten years. They're almost there, dude. Interesting. Over, Interesting. Over halfway there, man. But, yeah, I think seven years, maybe. Yeah. I don't even remember. Holy shit. Dude. That was a grind, though. That was a grind I never want to go through again in my life. It was fun while we were doing it. It was fun. But looking back at it now, it's like, oh, my God, dude. So much energy was was spent on that one game, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was good memories. You know, I was watching a lot of TikTok videos, (laughs) and then people were posting some sad songs of, like. Wait, what? they They had, like, they're sitting around, like, a campfire with you know eight of their buddies or something like that uh-huh, and then uh-huh. all of a sudden it goes to a sad song and then he's by himself just sitting by uh, by the campfire by himself and all that and i was like oh damn i feel that i feel that because <laughs> everyone dropped off and that was a sucky feeling knowing that everyone's oh. not in in the oh, game you know in, what destiny, I mean? in destiny yeah, kind of, oh, in destiny yeah in destiny not not in real life but real life. you know the 
<laughs> yeah, their characters uh, you were like sitting around, hanging around, having a good time, dancing, and then it just goes to like an instant uh, future present flashback thing, and uh-huh. he's by himself dancing. I was like, damn, dude, <laughs> this hit me in the feels. <laughs> <laughs> that's like i think i've seen one where it was like um this guy was messaging his buddy on uh like xbox live or something like that and he goes hey man they're playing fifa or nba live or something and the last message he sends is hey man good game um i'm hopping off for tonight i'll see you tomorrow you can play another game and then he looks at it now it says last time logged in five years ago <laughs> Damn, son. That's what I mean. He never played ever again, dude. <laughs> that's what I mean. I think that's what made me drop off Destiny 2. It's like when we started that game of Destiny 2, we only had half of our fire team. Yeah, not everybody just... jumped back in. Yeah. Exactly. And then that's what, like, it kind of felt a little bit empty, you know, just the grind without all of the players that we used to play with, the randos, the friends we made, and then all of our gear too mm-hmm. didn't even transfer over. So it's like, mm-hmm. oh, this is this is not good. Yeah. Yeah. A lot went wrong with have them having to up go to Destiny Two. And I feel like the only reason they made a Destiny Two was so that they could advance the graphics to fully be on next gen consoles you know we forget man that's how old destiny is it had to come out on playstation 3 and playstation 4 um which is why it's even crazier now that they're not going to make a destiny 3 for playstation 5 and xbox series x they're just going to keep on going with destiny 2 you know what i mean so Mm, we need another space game (laughs) cowboy bebop if they made (laughs) A space like oh man rick you're blowing my mind right now dude if they made <laughs> that game where you're a bounty hunter in space dude oh my god and it's multiplayer and it's, oh my god yep oh, it, and it's not just the theme of like you know everyone's wearing the same kind of space suits it's mm-hmm, more mm-hmm. of you know like cowboy bebop like you go to this area suits you're and stuff yeah yeah dude. you're hanging out and you're in a tuxedo or you're in regular clothes or you're in bounty hunter clothes anything is possible that's the game i would like to envision space bounty hunter game when man that's what i want to do dude and then you could take odd jobs like smuggling stuff onto different planets or space stations dude i that would be cool that would be cool and you have your own little space space uh jet thing for when you want to fly like in the away from the main ship yeah oh. if you could build your own crew like have your own little clan but it's that like, would be cool ship, that would be tight dude that would be cool like you have your own spaceship and you build you you really pick and choose from thousands and thousands of i don't know characters mm-hmm, to be mm-hmm. on your ship you only could pick maybe like what 15 or something and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> interesting See, we should be the game developers, man. We just need to we learn should... how to code, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Bring our ideas to the table. Like, I present it. You give me a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to make uh, our uh, checking my email video game, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we've ever discussed it on here. We never will because don't want none of y'all to steal our ideas but <laughs> if there's ever a video game out there called i'm checking my email you'll know where it's from dude <laughs> <laughs> i feel like it'd be so simple but so hard at the same time to make that game you got to send money our way to out- <laughs> <Couch Potato. laughs> oh man uh so yeah r.i.p r.i.p uh spider-man fans that are xbox fans at the same time um although there's been a lot of talk you know well i guess there's been talk since forever about the console wars um but i think this is the first time that they're going in totally opposite directions like sony is going the more traditional route of being next gen and xbox is going this other route with accessibility just having you be able to play whatever you want 
wherever you want, whether it's on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, on your PC, if you want to stream it, download it, buy the game, just buy into a subscription service. Like, they kind of got everything for you. You know what I mean? And um, mm. it's going to be interesting to see who pulls out on top. Um, have you been feeling about what Xbox has been doing? What has Xbox been doing other than just the <laughs> tri- going? Ex- I guess they yeah, they are yeah going over multiple platforms mm-hmm. where you have your own PC and whatnot. That that idea I think is the right dis- uh, the right direction because like people who don't want to buy an Xbox, you know, they have their PCs. Mm-hmm. You know, they already have a Windows computer to to start playing it. So mm-hmm. Microsoft is still getting money, mm-hmm. but. Um, yeah, because you have to play it on Windows. Yeah, I guess in the same way that Sony is always going to make money off of Spider-Man, Microsoft is always going to make money off of Xbox games. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think, I don't think we're not. But one of the main things I think they they've put together is they had the Xbox Games Pass, and for a long time, you and I were talking about, oh man, they should just combine Games Pass with Gold, you know, and they did that. So you could get it all for 15 bucks a month. And then they have their X Cloud streaming service, right? Mm-hmm. I think over the past week they announced that they're going to combine it all into one thing. So you can stream games, have the Game Pass, and Xbox Gold for $15 every month, man. That's a lot See, of games for $15 a month, dude. Exactly. Exactly. I think, yeah, that is a really good strategy. I'm trying to think. I had an idea that PlayStation should have done. They should do the same exact thing, I think, man. They, yeah, PlayStation because they split it. I think it's PlayStation now, yeah. But you have to pay like ten bucks, and then on top of your ten bucks already for PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus, so that's just what twenty bucks. But they they still don't have it like cross platforms, like Mm -hmm. on a PC or anything, Mm -hmm. which they should be doing. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, damn! I had an idea that PlayStation should have done something for PS Five, mm. and it blew my mind. But I didn't write it down. Yep, that's that's what I get. <laughs> <laughs> the world uh, will never know this game changing damn it. idea, man. Fuck! It was. It was. <laughs> it was. Damn it. Well, yeah, I, I think it'll be interesting to see <clears throat> what comes out on top. Whether it's people not caring, just want to. Being able, just being able to play the game wherever they go, whatever they choose to play it on, or having that true next gen console um, that has the best graphics for the best made games. You know, mm-hmm. um, it'll be interesting to see who pulls out on top. I'm kind of scared to see where it goes because it's going to change gaming forever. You know, I think it, we've seen it already changing to where video games. You and I are more hardcore people that play video games, I feel like. But the um, environment has become a lot more casual, I think. With good, good. Battle Royale games and things like that where you can... And Fall Guys, for example, where you can just jump in and out real quick. It's It's almost like everything's turning into a mobile game. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so that's kind of what scares me especially since people are talking about how triple a single player story mode games are not worth it anymore when we've just seen a bunch that are totally worth it like final fantasy 7 remake last of us 2 and now ghost of tsushima you know what i mean yeah so i just hope we keep on getting those at least and i think the only people that are going to do it are playstation you know that's probably why i'm going to stick with them Plus, if they put Final Fantasy VII Part Two just on PlayStation 5, I'm automatically buying it, dude. Yes. Yes. I think I remember some one of my ideas. Oh, oh. But it's not, it's not, it's not the revolution, revelation one. The, okay, like, okay. I'm mad because I can't remember. But one of it was like, what if we do Ready Player One where, for PS5, where, you know, people who have VRs and all that, you enter a virtual environment whether 
you're in some cowboy desert area space whatever you want to be in and then you guys you're, you're in like a gaming lounge of like you know endless amount of players and then you guys could say oh yeah let's play games together mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then you launch a game within the game <laughs> <laughs> what? i don't know what i was eating it might have been chipotle or something <laughs> like playstation home basically or like yeah so bring it back you meet up with everybody? reality uh, virtual reality but it's like <laughs> it's not like as boring as the you know how it was but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know you go into damn it what was that movie called that that was surreal um or not the movie the series the one that you're trying to get me to watch which one see i can't remember that either but anyways, oh, Westworld, you, Westworld, Westworld. Yeah, Westworld. You know, you go into a cowboy area. People are having gunfights, but in the meantime, you're like hanging out with some randos and say, "Hey, let's play this kind of game." While gunfights are happening. Hmm. I feel you. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> might have been the Chipotle. It might have been the Chipotle. It wasn't really spicy. <laughs> I try to hold out on the spicy, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go off on a tangent if I start talking about spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, we had, that was super funny, dude. How you, you ate spicy food, and you were just walking in and out because we were on Discord, and you're just walking in and out of the camera the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, I was dude. sweaty, man. Yeah, I, man. You, yeah, like I was on my knees and everything praying and I was like, oh my God, please let it go because I had like four tums and that whole day I was like, man, today's a good day to eat spicy even though I'm going to be working tomorrow. So uh, I guess I'll start eating spicy slowly so I can build up my tolerance because they say that your tongue, <laughs> your tongue sensitivity is the same as your butthole. <laughs> who said this i don't know i don't know what i'm reading Man, this is <laughs> might have been tiktok i don't know oh my god <laughs> oh. i don't know <laughs> I wonder who the scientist is that pulled that study together, man. Uh, I'm going to Google it. <laughs> oh, man. That's a sick Google search, too. <laughs> is your butt. Shit, you're right. Your Let time. me open up safe mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy, dude. That's fucking funny. Oh, man. But, yeah. Um... Next gen's gonna be crazy. I'm automatic picking up a PS4. Uh, what else is going on, dude? Um, oh yeah, Ghost of Tsushima, dude. We're at a pretty cool part, Rick and I, where we have to fight like these Ronin that are like stronger than the regular Ronin that we fight in the game. Dude, they're fast as fuck, man. And that's been the most fun I've had in a long time, just fighting these guys, man. I think you sent me a video of yourself fighting one, and I sent you a video of me fighting one. Yeah, the, the that was some sick-ass dodge. The battles are so epic, man. It's just good times, dude, whenever you yeah. fight one of those guys. Dude, um, I'm about to like go on a binge spree of just watching old samurai movies. Dude, you should, man. Yo, Jimbo yes. and San and Sanjuro, I think those are really good ones to watch first. Maybe Seven Samurai too. I love Seven Samurai. I'll check out Yo Jimbo. I haven't seen that one. The only thing is, they're like really, really old. That's okay. <laughs> we were talking about that too last night. Like, if you had a chance to learn, um, or if you had a chance, right, and you can go to sleep and wake up the next day and you're fluent in a language, what would it be? Mm, I think it would have to be Spanish. What? Not Japanese, dude? Okay, okay, okay. J- uh, Japanese, Japanese. I was going to say, what is practical? Like, you know, because we oh, live right, right here, near. Right yeah, That's over true. here. That's true. That's true. Might as well 
you know, try to adopt it. But then you're right. Stay true. Stay, stay true. So I might be Japanese. That way I can, you know, make friends over there, hang out. My old thing was, I think last night we were watching an anime and I looked away for two seconds. And then when I looked back, I was completely lost on what was going on in the show. Oh, I was about to thought you were going to say, like, you understood every single word with no, that, when no, you looked no. away, and you're like, Kimochi, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, you know what's fucked up is, like, Kimochi is such a regular expression. Like, people will just say that if they go into a hot spring or if... You know, they go into a room with air conditioning, you know, and they say, uh, oh, you know, Kimochi or kimo something chi. like that. But just the fact of where I know it's from and all of the context that's been put in front of me of that <laughs> term is like, I can't help but think that that's nasty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Even though it's just a regular term, dude, it just means, oh, it feels nice. You know what I'm saying? But it's- I think it, I think it's because we construed it like I with know. our... Fuck with up. our humor, you know. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> oh shit. Oh man. But yeah, no, Ghost of Tsushima was fun. I don't know how far I am in this game. There's no kind of percentage marker or, or nothing, dude. Have you made it to the third area yet? Or are you still in the the second area? I think I cleared up every side quest on the, the second area. So I'm doing. I just started the last quest gold quest or whatever it is with Ooh. yuna okay 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 dude did you finish um uh, sidetrack did you finish and spoiler alert did you finish that one part with the like, caretaker the all three of her missions where, where she's teaching you how to make dies? poison spoiler alert at the end. oh sorry 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 oh fuck uh where she's shit never mind never wait mind. no i've already done it all Oh, oh. Where, she, she, where she dies, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, when you walked away, and I saw that part, you walked away from Discord from your camera, and you went to the bathroom. Uh huh. I was literally tearing up. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I grew a strong bond with it's this weird. character. Yeah, dude. yeah, because she was like reminding me of my grandma, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> You know, she used to feed me all the time and take care of me. And her happiest moment was knowing that I was I was okay when when we were younger. And then she was like, oh, and then he turns and damn. Yeah. And then I was like, I was like, Brad, no. And I was like tearing up. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was starting to think like that was getting weird because she was mistaking you for. Your dad. Your dad. Yeah, so I was like, yeah. oh, no, this is going to get weird. She's going to try to make out with me. But then, no, she was just like, kept on explaining, oh, yeah, we just have to take care of Jin. He has such a free spirit, but he means well. And I'm like, oh, that's me, oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can tell she's about to die. She's like, oh, we need to go to my family's graveyard. And you're just sitting there. And she starts slowing down when she's talking. You're like, oh, no, dude. She's got to go. <laughs> dude, I didn't know. I thought it was like the, you know, the flowers. Like, you know, since she's mixing it, she's getting exposed to the poison or whatever. It's making her hallucinate, you know? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But then, yeah, when we were sitting down and she was like, oh, yeah, you were, I, I love Jin, young Jin, he was the greatest. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is the greatest. <laughs> oh, man. See, that's how you know the game's good, dude. Hitting you in the feels, man. Yeah. Damn, dude. Damn. Yeah. yeah, I was like wondering why she was very persistent on visiting these places. She was like, yeah. "Let's visit here," and then it was just like a whole train of remembrance, you know, mm-hmm. like, "Oh, this is where you used to, you know, hang out at the lake and blah blah blah." Let's just sit here for a second, you know. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, "Oh, let's visit my the grave and let's do this and let's do that." Like, like I was thinking, "Oh yeah, she just wants to catch up on good times," but. Mm-hmm. Damn, dude, yeah, that one like yeah. hit me. I was like, "Oh, damn, son." It did seem like you know, like in Grand Theft Auto Four, whenever Roman calls you, he's like, "Hey, cousin, let's go play some bowling or something like that." You know <laughs> yeah, I mean? 
It seemed yep. like that's what her mission seemed like at first. But you're right, dude. When it was all over, you're like, oh, God, dude. Let me hang out with you more. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you're my only family left. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Except for my uncle. But yeah. fuck. <laughs> that, one, that part was pretty crazy, too. Where, like, I, I forget who you're talking to. It might be, like, um, Masako or something, the older lady. Mm -hmm. Where she's like. Oh, wait, is it her? But you were arguing with someone, and they were like, you're too perfect. You need to be a killer. And you're like, well, my uncle only appreciates honor, and we will fight with honor. And they called your uncle stupid. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Don't do shit. That. It okay. might have been Yuna or Masako. Yeah, it was one of them. And I was like, whoa, 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 time out, time out, dude, time out. We are honorable <laughs> samurai. And yeah, we, just need we are money. honorable. We're saving people. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, man. no, that game is too great, man. Um, yeah, I'm kind of. I think you know, I'm gonna feel the same way when I finish it, just like it was hanging out with. Uh, uh, hey, what was her name? Yuna. No, 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 no. The the auntie. The one I was taking care of you. Oh, we don't even don't remember her name. I don't remember her name, dude. <laughs> like I was like, oh yeah, you're the 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 taker, and then yeah, it was it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be like that where you don't realize the good times when you're in them. You know, all of a sudden the game's gonna end. I'm like, damn, dude, I have an empty spot in my heart for for samurai right now, dude. Yeah. Like me, I was like, man, I feel this cloud already over me. Yeah. But it makes me just want to kill all the Mongols I run into, dude. <laughs> that mission. Oh, we got to talk about that mission where you're helping out the, the monks. Uh, it's the last one in the middle area for the monks where that guy, the Mongol, comes up and he's like, Hey, you let us burn this place down or we'll kill you and burn the place down. <laughs> <laughs> And then he's, we're like, no, we're not going to do that. And he starts blowing his horn, and all of the um, Mongols start coming in. You remember that one? Oh, yeah. Like there was like infinite 50 waves. Of them. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that one was fun, dude. That one I yeah. was like doing that three slash combo, parrying, getting my resolve back up, and three slashing again, dude. That mission was fucking fun because it was yeah. just a bunch of guys to kill, you know? They should have more of that, just endless battling. You know. Yeah, I want to jump into like a big battle where we get the last remnants of the samurai and just fight all the Mongols in like the open field or something. That would be yeah, tough, dude. Dude, that would be sick. Yeah, because I, I that battle I had to think. You know, like they kept shooting arrows at me, and then mm -hmm. I would block or roll away. But mm -hmm. by the time I'm done rolling, there's already other people attacking me, and then when I'm trying to attack, another person's attacking me. Like I literally used up all of my resolve just mm -hmm. to survive that whole battle. Mm -hmm. And that's what's good about it too. I think I've explained this about maybe the last of us too, as well, where it's just like, you know, at one point in this game, everything just starts to feel natural. Like if someone's attacking you from one side with a certain attack, you already know what you need to press to either block or dodge that attack. You know what I mean? If you're fighting someone with a spear, you know which stance to switch to. All of a sudden, someone's behind you with a sword. You can switch to the other stance. You know what I mean? It's all just really, really, really fluid. Which is why oh, I yeah. about the game. Yep. And <laughs> I've noticed, too, just now that I know we have all these ninja techniques and things. But for me, Dude, I never and use mostly, them. yeah, we're, we have <laughs> not been using it. And I was I like, that know. definitely could have been making our that battle or those any battle like a lot easier if you like if we threw like smoke bomb down we already mm -hmm. assassinated multiple people oh yeah you throw yeah. darts kunais whatever you know it's like that would have been an easier battle but for us we're like we are samurai hell yeah man. <laughs> you know all we need is our sword and our spirit <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because i think story-wise we're just doing it because we're scared of our uncle dude <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. When he was like, "None of this. You are samurai. We're gonna 
continue fighting as samurai i was yeah. like you right uncle you right you right <laughs> and then the next mission is like all right sneak around and don't let anybody see you i'm like oh, okay yeah <laughs> i see those forced sneak missions and it's like uh kill them in their sleep i'm like mm, mm, okay <laughs> no wonder. i think that's the first one that happens right after is when you have to kill the the slavers so you have to mm. like um kill them and then put their heads up for display you know they're oh heads. yeah 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 that's yeah. the one where it's like uh okay dude i gotta sneak around i can't let anybody see me do this you know yeah like me so badly i just wanted to run in start assassinating but no you really can't be seen and yeah. you just gotta sneak around and i'm like dude i like being a ninja but yeah samurai is a lot fun you know when you're just challenging everybody mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you gotta keep your your honor man yeah exactly yeah but yeah too fun too fun i hope it's it's still a long time before we finish this game hopefully the next two weeks um because yep. i don't know what else is coming out man i think avengers is coming out but that's it did I you think... see that whole pokemon virtual theme park thing oh no i didn't what's that uh i don't know too much about it but i just mm -hmm. briefly saw an article today and then it says Pokemon, yeah, I pulled it up. Pokemon has announced it will be hosting a Pokemon Virtual Fest, an unfinished theme park between mm. August 12th and August 31st in Japan. So basically, it had something. It said something along the lines where you like go on rides, or you do escape rooms, and you have to do puzzles, or you can battle other trainers and stuff like that, which I thought was interesting. But I still want to physically see everything. But do you do all this over like a YouTube video or something, or how how do you experience all this? Um, I don't know. I do not know. It said Chester Zoo, which is I guess is the company, uh, mm -hmm. forces internet to launch Pokemon Go, a wildlife and AR app. Oh, okay, okay. So, so it'll I be like AR, AR with a camera. Ah, uh, interesting, interesting. That could be cool. Well, When's it happening? Uh, it said August. I already closed it. August twelfth to August thirty first. Oh shit, dude! That's this week. That's Wednesday, I think. Oh shit! Huh? I'm not Everything is that. around the corner. Yep, 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 yep. But yeah, thinking about it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how you would pull that off? Um, how'd you do in uh the Magic Car? uh community day so my dummy self thought oh yeah the event is from 11 to 2 so i was catching mm -hmm. everything between 11 and 2 caught a lot of shinies mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and then i stopped and i was like thinking oh man i couldn't finish the uh, what was that event the field research in time mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i was like okay whatever so right before that I evolved a lot of my uh, magic carp to Gyarados and whatnot. So I had no candies left. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, one of my field research to advance to the next level is use pin app berries to catch uh, uh, magic carps. Mm -hmm. I didn't have ma uh, pin app berries. I ran out and I think it was around 430 or mm -hmm. 420 or something like that. Mm -hmm. I checked and I was like, oh, I do have pin app berries from other research. So I got that, advanced the level, and then I was like, wait a minute, there's still magic carpet um, spawning. I checked. Mm -hmm. The event ends at 5 o'clock. I was stupid, and I thought it ended at 2. And then I was like, oh, okay, I can do this in time. The next field research, it says, evolve a, a magic carp. And I and cried in my sleep. After you evolved <laughs> a bunch of them? I have, yeah, exactly. I evolved them all around two o'clock, so I had no candy left. And then I said, I, I was doing some serious mathematics in my head. I was like, all right, What's I got 400? 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I catch one magic carp. That's three candies. But if I turn that one magic carp in for a candy, that's four. So four, I can do an average rate of two per. To two magic cards per minute i think i can do this oh i got 50 candies oh i can do this and then i think i reached up to 360 candies and then event oh end. my god <laughs> from zero to 360 in 30 minutes <laughs> i cried a little bit so now i still got that that special uh event in my 
in my log yeah. that I need to eventually evolve a magic carp to to get that. Damn, dude. What what do you get after that? Do you even remember uh, the special research? To... Oh, I didn't do it, dude. Oh, well, I got a lot of magic carp. If you <laughs> want some magic carp, <laughs> no. So I had uh, a shiny hundred one from you know back in the uh back in the spoofing days so my magic carp day consisted of me evolving him and and that was it dude <laughs> damn <laughs> no stress a stress-free life for that magic carp yeah i didn't even want to do like the field research i was like nah i'm, I'm cool man <laughs> shit so yep. when you when you hunt and stuff do you actually go out or or you just well i was i was out and about like uh, doing okay. errands and stuff like that but mm -hmm. i think for the first couple of hours like between 11 to 12 30 i was at home just catching non-stop mm -hmm. mm -hmm. then i went out still catching and then when i came home around like four you know i opened the app around 4 20 and i was like oh my god this event is still going on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then yeah i tried to uh, try to do it but it was too late i already evolved like three magic arps around two o'clock mm -hmm. so i had no candy and i i think i was like the most fastest pokemon catcher at that time mm. i was like throwing every pokeball within like seconds <laughs> i was like oh got it boom moving on <laughs> the next one, next one <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> boom got it next <laughs> crazy crazy man um Oh man! And then if you haven't seen Pokemon Twilight, shit, Twilight Wings, definitely watch it. The whole series is out and complete, dude. Shit, um, I need to watch. Finish watching that. the last battle in the final episode is probably the greatest Pokemon I've seen in my entire life, dude. Damn, I need to see that faster. Very, very, very well animated, man. Perfect. Um, they need to make more. They need to make a lot more like that. I'll be down um but yeah dude i think that's all i got man you got anything else mm, just that pokemon i love pokemon same dude same like we said it solves everything it solves world peace exactly I, oh wow damn it i had another idea with pokemon too what i don't remember man Damn it, dude! It was it was something to do with Pokemon walking everywhere. Ah, <sighs> maybe next next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Uh, no, yeah, I think that's it for us this week. We'll be playing more um, Fall Guys, more um, Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost maybe of a little Sushi. bit Halo mixed in there. There's there's, there's plenty of games to play right now. Um, so yeah. See you guys next week. But until then, Brick, some words of wisdom. If you want to create or have the most best ideas in the world, try eating some chipotle. Alright, <laughs> see you next week. <laughs>